Hello, everybody. <clears throat> Welcome back to Blasphemous. The last episode, we did a little bit of backtracking, finally found where we could upgrade our rosary, and uh, also hatched that egg that Altgracias gave us, and it turned out to be a mighty relic, uh, because we can use this to... Um, hit all of those what looked to me like grapple points that there were so I now have a lot of places that I can go and hit so we are going to take care of that real quick since this is going to be a shorter episode anyway and uh, yeah we're going to get to it so let's get to it and to start we will once again go back to where it all began I know I can't get the thing down there but maybe one of these places will get me whatever I need to be able to move quickly in water and then I'll be able to get loads of stuff if I move quickly in water but for now, I want to see how this new relic that makes the stairs with the thorns or whatever work. This is the quickest place to do it. Other than going up to the graveyard, it's probably be the next aspect. It's 8,000 to get the final upgrade for my sword, if I remember correctly. And yeah, I don't need anything down there yet. We're only still about halfway of the map filled in, too. Right? Oh, 62%. So, getting better. Running the back trackery way. Okay, so how does it... That's how this thing works. Creates ledges to uh, attach yourself to. Listen, my son, to the silence. It is an undulating silence. A silence where valleys and echoes slide. A silence that bows foreheads to the ground. Ahoy, Mr. Drew. You have caught me scaling to new heights. Is that all that was up here? Really? All that anticipation for what is up here and it was just one of those? Okay, fine. <laughs> to the peaks! Actually, wait, there is a chest in Hondo. I'm pretty sure that, too. Those are closer. This relic has given me the power to go many places. I am a fan of this. So then I guess Redento must have gone this way. After meeting him down here. Because I can 
no way you could have gotten nowhere else. Let's see, here. don't need, don't need, don't need. Proceed. Kill some shit. Wait, what? I was firing shots. How? one's like right yeah to the left no still can't get that one though maybe but it stopped doing it before I stopped being at full health Pelican effigy. Sounds like a rosary to me. I was right. Bead made of forged copper coated in a dense aquamarine patina. The pelican fed its children with its blood to protect the wearer from all harm while they drink from the bile flasks. Oh, cool, so it gives you iframes during healing. That's nifty. May our chest full full of cuts bleed. For when it spills red, it will feed the hungry. Let it bleed. For when it pours upon the land of the dead, it shall be blessed by in the eyes of the miracle. And those who rest here shall live on the other side of the dream. On the way of eternal processions, let it bleed. Let it bleed. Let it bleed. None of that. Not none of that. Ha! I got it. I just, I just had to be better. I had to get good to get that one. That, that's. How that worked. Oh, and I never even marked that one. How silly of me. Anyway. Actually, it would be faster to just... Ah! Bifurcated bastards. Screw you! being impatient. More coffee is required. Ah, uh, there we go. That was silly. Of that. Smash your naked body with your bronze bull head. Well, we will go that way as well. See if we can get that. Damn it. 
the same time, I know I can just pay to get my guilt back. And, uh, I, I have no reason to go down there. Down there is kind of annoying. Even though it's only one room, I'm being that lazy right now. Also, I want to try and get as much done as possible as we are kind of on a clock. I do have to be at work pretty soon. Third off. The old blood smear. thing try and fuck with me right now. What do we got? Solia of the Excommunication. Prayer that ignites with the blood with unbridled fervor. For a while, the quick attacks of the penitent one are replaced with a devastating blow that annihilates enemies. Ooh. Forgive me, Father. Excuse me from this oath. Do not let your eternal miracle take over my soul and possess my body, for I fear the miracle more than I fear my own torment. Let's try it out. We uh, got kind of a nifty relic and uh, and a new spell. Well, nifty rosary, I guess. Enough of that. Stunned for an execution. Yeah. This is all done, so it's just over to the right. Killing the flying godhead things. They aren't reject Medusa heads, but they definitely are reject Bayonetta enemies. Those bifurcated bastards can just stand there and be bifurcated. My way. 
I just don't like you or you. Alright, there's that one sword heart in the peaks that I still have no real idea how to get. would lead me to there. So, let's see if we can get there. If it's even possible. for your head. Yep, it's right down there. And yes, it is blocked off on the other side. wonder if I get to swing from those ever. Either I need to be able to swing from those, or I need a double jump to get that. Oh! Thank you for the free stuff. Your tears, your salty tears, to my sanctuary. Eh, hey, you y'all can. some time let's go up to the graveyard of the peaks and uh, where all the trees wither and use our new relic in those areas let's see what we can find in this item hunting episode I'll find another piece of that uh, poor, poor girl whose hair kept on growing into thorns to be able to give to these guys. give you guys a beastly sum today as a tithe. Do 
too much. Still too much. Take it. Yeah, it left me with 1800. Perfect. That's actually kind of fitting. Because, of course, 1800 is technically 360s. Actually, really perfect. <laughs> How blasphemous. Leave a like for 666 hype and math jokes. I stupidly forgot to mark anything by the looks of it. Right, we'll go up first and then we'll go back down. And that takes us back into that area. So is... No, I don't really give a shit about the cistern right now. I'm pissed off at it. <laughs> Alright, let's go. There isn't going to be much in this area in particular, I don't think. Yeah, I remember your pattern, sarcophagus. Need the power of that wind. area was up here. Yes. And then there's that, too. There's no, like, thorny bits up there. So, not much I can do. Oh! <laughs> that wind. That wind is a character, I tell ya character in and of itself. Yep, you need the combo effect. And the wind to be going in the other damn direction. Skeletal remains. Oh, the music stopped for. Oh, there it goes again. 
remains of the novice Tendudia that were isolated from the rest so she could not receive a holy burial. The nuns planned her execution in utmost secrecy, even without a trial or a report to the church in fear that it would reach the ears of the implacable inquisitors of the miracle. So after her condemnation, they did not give her the proper burial worthy of the sisters of the monary, but instead buried the remains of her body scattered around the vicinity, because it is known that if one's body is not whole in the burial, the soul will not cross through the dream. So wait, how do I get to the other side? Because there's... doesn't go far enough. Neither does the... Oh, there's a uh, sea. This is really cool. I like this power. Oh, what do we got here? Bead of gold thread. Rosary. Ball made of liquid gold, spun into fine fibers, viscous to the touch. These miraculous strands are avidly coveted by alchemists and scholars. The passion woven into each filament seeps into the sacred bile flasks, accelerating their use. Quicker heals is better than this thing that I have not noticed. A miracle occurred in front of me. I found her lying on the floor. Her face was pale as if dead, yet relaxed and at peace. Next to her lay the bodies of four women, covered in gold, that shone and illuminated the room, as if lit by an internal fire from where I stood. I could hear the beating of those five hearts. They echoed in the room, slowly sounding in unison. There were golden threads at my feet, all over the room. They seemed to be attached to those golden bodies. I took up part of that thread and made a ball that would be the proof for the others to believe me. And the fact that this was found up here and the music isn't playing leads me to believe that that might be, you know, like the secret glasses in Symphony of the Night. Useful if you want to get a different ending, maybe. Who knows? Not me, that's for sure. I'm I am literally grasping at straws here. Um Alright, there's one thing there, but I don't think And there's the sword heart here. That actually raises a good question, so I will go back there real quick. Actually, I'm going to have to just go back to the quick save point. I'm going to have to work soon. Friggin' wind. Yeah, that is that was kind of Zelda rules too for some of them. You have you go into a fight with a certain But like it's specifically calling it miraculous and golden, so like Given the miracle's seemingly gigantic love of gold, 
Ah, oh, that wind. When the wind is not your friend, it is not your friend. for the last time. That's what I meant to do. It is actually one thing I am going to check. Yeah, because it'll make me have to come up here anyway. What I'm doing might be completely wrong, but I'm willing to find out. Because <clears throat> right now, the elevator's up. So this gate is closed, is what I'm assuming. However, when the elevator goes down this gate closes, but there's no real way up. It's an odd one. Oh. You know what? We'll try it later. I do not have the time. And it's just going to mean that I'm going to have to come back up here anyway, so if it fails, I just want to leave. So next episode, we'll continue doing a little bit of backtrackery, but not too much. Basically, we're just going to go in there, get that, do a quick run around to make sure there are no, like, thorn points. And then do our experiment with that. Come back down through here. Um, I don't think I need to do anything with this place. This place seems to be a bit of a hub. But then again, I also need like the ability to move fast in water. To do anything here. So, can't do anything there yet. So yeah. Next episode will just be a little loop in the Monterey. And then back down to here to experiment with this real quick and then down and across picking up all the stuff that we didn't get at the patio and then running through the mother of mothers to get back to the library of the negated words and continue this story so not a whole lot of backtrackery right now but uh yeah this was a fun episode and thank you mr drew for uh tuning in to catch this and for everyone else who also caught a little bit of this stream thank you for tuning in as well and uh also if you made it this far leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and hit that notification bell that way if you want you can catch these videos when they're uploaded to the channel or you can join me when i'm streaming yes thank you mr drew i will have a good work day and i will see y'all at some point tonight where we will either continue with the blasphemous running around or we might visit somewhere snowy and get even farther in mortal shell. Anyway, we'll see which one it ends up being, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.